Colorado first tonight for you. Good news about an elaborate model train display that was in a trailer stolen from a storage lot earlier this month. The men who put their hearts and souls into years of building it have it back. Alan Janae says a viewer who saw our story spotted it in Aurora and police later found it on another Aurora street. Well, this is where the trailer ended up in the 2500 block of South Carson Way in Aurora, 15 miles from Watkins, where it was stolen. A neighbor tells me it was only here a couple of hours before police showed up, ran the plate and had it towed. That's our trailer. It was a sight that warmed their hearts. Aurora's impound lot, their missing trailer waited for. Anxiously, they opened it to check what was left. The trailer had been packed with their big layout divided into what they call modules. All put together, it's 40 feet long. A thrill for kids and old folks who remember days gone by. It took two years to build, and earlier this week, the men in the group thought redoing it just too much. We, we can't replace it. We can't rebuild it. We're all in our 70s. Inside, though, this day, they inventoried what was lost. There's a building broken over there. But the big modules are still there. Everything else can be replaced. This is wonderful news. Life went on for the tiny people while they were taken for a ride. It was parked this way with the tongue headed that way. So it showed up parked oddly in this neighborhood near Islip and Tower Road about May 2nd. It was really in the way. It was. Dick Eason called police, but it had yet to be reported stolen. Aurora's parking authority issued a warning and two tickets. So it sat out here for a week? Yes. And then Monday night, it was gone again. Until it showed up Thursday morning where an Aurora officer spotted it on Carson Way. Overall, I feel elated. And now, back with the guys who built it. Thought about what the crooks who took it still have. So the thieves stole a police station? <laughs> In Aurora, Alan Janae covering Colorado first. The Slick X Train Club has to cancel an appearance at Cheyenne's Depot Days this weekend, but they hope to get things fixed in time for a display in Estes Park coming up in September.